check out this effect. So guys, the first thing you wanna do is to import any image that you would like to use for this effect. Once you've done that, make your way over to the layers over on the right hand side. Then you wanna make a duplicated copy of your original layer, giving you two of those. Then you're gonna to wanna to select the top one and you're gonna to wanna to cut out the background, leaving the subject in the middle like we've got right here. So there are two different ways that you can cut this out. If you guys have a Canva Pro subscription, all you gotta do is go up to the top menu bar to where it says pixel, go down and just choose remove background then that will cut out the subject for you automatically and that is going to be the quickest and easiest method alternatively if you guys do not have a camera pro subscription all you got to do is go over to the left hand side toolbar menu you're going to select the tool which is called object selection tool once you've done that you're going to highlight the selection that you want to cut out so we've got the lady there we also want to grab the fan once you've done that go up to the refine menu just here above the image then you want to start drawing just around all the outside of the image to make affinity do a better job with a cutout once you've done that you want to go ahead and just hit the apply button here then that will go and create a mask over in the layers so that'll cut that out for you as well then you'll also have the two layers of the subject above and the original one at the bottom so what we want to do next is add some text that we want to use inside of this design so i'll go ahead and grab the text tool and just drag this out to any size that i'm happy with and you can write in anything you like i'm just going to go ahead and just write in fashion to be quick then what I want to do is grab the move tool, just resize that and position it roughly where I want it to go for the time being. Then over in our layers, we're going to make a copy of the text we just created with command or control C the copy and command or control V the paste. Then what you want to do is move the text at the bottom in between the two images. So it's going to be behind the one that we cut out. Then select the text at the top, make your way up to the color wheel and we want to go ahead and apply a stroke. So we're going to go into the stroke menu and we're going to add a stroke to any size that you would like. Like. I'll go ahead and just choose five at the moment I've got this in the color black so I can see how thick it is however I want to go ahead and change that to white so I'm going to go back over to the color wheel I'm going to turn that over to being white rather than black then I'm going to choose a fill and I want to turn that off making that transparent so all we're going to be left with is the outline on that layer and that looks pretty good. Alternatively, we can go ahead and just turn that round on its side just to give it a bit of a better effect. Maybe bring that over a little bit, resize that, make it a bit bigger. And there is another way of doing that as well, which looks pretty good. So place the text wherever you like and position that as big as you want and just add some effects to that just to make it look a little bit better. As you can see with the drop shadow I've got right here. Alternatively, if you don't like the background, go ahead and just turn that off. So you're left with the subject and the white background. But there's a quick, easy effect for you guys. Please like the video, subscribe and check out all my other affinity content.